everybody, this is Perch. Uh, I want to talk about this James Gunn uh, movie slate, and in particular, Supergirl. So um, I noticed this, this reaction started to play out yesterday, and it was the people who are, you know, excited about, the, you know, Gunn's movies, people who are not excited about Gunn's movies. Uh, they're just, they, you know, it just doesn't move the needle for them. And in each camp, the excited and not excited, I would say there were two distinct groups. So we're talking about kind of four people. And it plays out kind of like this. There were people who were excited for, um, you know, what was going on with uh, Gunn's plans. And uh, they legitimately, you know, it sounded like fun. It was good superhero stuff. And, you know, they're excited maybe to see characters like the Authority or Booster Gold on the screen. And that's exciting to them. And, you know, it just, just you know, they, they don't really care maybe a little bit about some of the background and the details behind it. They're just, they're excited to see booster gold who, who wouldn't be excited to see booster gold. Right. Um, and, and, you know, then the, but there's another group of the people who are excited who uh, were doing the take of this is going to make all the incels mad. There was that group. So, they, so this is what I would call people who are phony excited. They were excited, not because of what the, they were actually going to watch, but they were excited about the prospects of somebody else, um, you know, feeling unhappy. And uh, that to me is the phony group, right? So like with Supergirl, um, I'll, I'll get, you know, before I get into the other, the other grouping of people for a second, um, I didn't enjoy the Tom King Supergirl series. Uh, the, the, my, my reasons for not enjoying it had everything to do with kind of the, the tone. It felt, uh, I, it, I mean, it felt like I'd read a lot of the story before. A lot of what they were doing with Supergirl was not terribly exciting. It was, uh, it, you know, it, it, it felt like kind of worn out territory. It felt manipulative. In other words, you know, we're going to create these situations to question kind of, you know, the depression of being a hero. And, you know, it, 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 there was nothing new to that story, but it was disguised as something new. And I, 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 don't, I personally don't like that. Um, I thought the, the art was fine. I, I think the, the artist who did it um, was was great. Uh, but it, it fits how I, I view a lot of Tom King's storytelling, which is, you know, a little manipulative, well, a lot manipulative, a lot kind of repeating, same tones over and over again, and also, you know, kind of accomplishing nothing. Now, for what it's worth, you know, those criticisms that I'm giving um, definitely apply to tons of people, right? Not just Tom King. I mean, there's lots of writers who have done similar things, do similar things. This has, it, it's certainly not limited to him and I would never claim it was. Um, reasons I didn't like Supergirl, uh, had nothing, absolutely nothing to do with, uh, Tom King is a jerk on Twitter or Tom King is a CIA agent, a CIA agent and I, or was, and I don't like that or uh, Tom King is smug, or, you know, Supergirl is a girl, and so I can't, I shouldn't like girl comics because it's featuring a girl, or, you know, I, 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 as I'm trying to search my memory here, there really wasn't any race component to it, like the, the letter was non-white, so I'm angry about it. There was none of that for me. Um, it, it had nothing to do with it. And, and if I'm being completely fair, I think the volume of people who dislike Tom King's work because... At one point, he said Black Lives Matter. I think that's a tiny, tiny number. I mean, we, we exaggerate the, like, there's there's Nazis and racists everywhere. Yeah, not, not no, not at that level. Not, there are not. I'm, I'm sorry. Are there people with, you know, vague feelings of racism that, that come into their lives? Sure. I'm sure there's a huge number of people. All races have issues with other races. If you ever go live in Japan, you know, poke into how they feel about Koreans and Chinese. Just try it sometime. See what that looks like. I mean, you, you might be surprised. Um, but you know, the, the idea that, Hey, this, uh, this letter is, and I don't even know, I'm, I'm pulling this example out of my ass, but just like somebody on the comic is non-white and that's why you hate the whole thing. No, I, I don't think there's many of those people out there. I'm sorry. I don't. I think the very, very small number of those people are very, very noisy, but that's, that's, that's a completely different thing. So, um, let me talk about the other group though, the people who didn't like it. So, cause I, I count myself in, in that camp. I was, I was, um, I felt like it was, you know, I, I wasn't sitting there like angry and like super pissed off at everything that happened. Um, I was, uh, I, I basically looked at it as, 
you know, I feel like it's a missed opportunity. It feels like a lot of me too, uh, with what Marvel's already doing. And so I, I just, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I just, it feels like nothing I can get super excited about. That's, that's kind of how that, that was my take. Um, so I, you know, I wasn't, wasn't thoroughly impressed and, and amazed by the announcements. Um, but, and, and I think there's a group of people, I would say the people who were disappointed by James Gunn stuff fell into that. And some of these people might include, uh, folks who are like, hang on, I just invested my energy into, you know, what Zack Snyder was doing, or I, I liked Henry Cavell or Gail Godot, or I like, I, I invested money and time and effort into this other universe. And now we're scrapping it and doing it, starting over again. I'm, I'm not happy about that. I think there's some people in that camp as well. I'm not, I, that's not my main reason, but I, but I admit, um, I, I'd like, you, you want to do a shared universe and you want to get us excited about your movie slate. And then you, you change that movie slate every, uh, you know, every few years. I, I'm sorry. I mean, at some point it's like, look, commit to the bit or, you know, I don't ask me to commit. So there's a little bit of that for me too. Um, but then I, I think that the, then there's that there's, as I said, there's two groups on each, each side. I think there's another group, um, who dislikes it, who dislike it because fuck Tom King, because Tom King is rude on social media because he is, uh, dismissive because uh, some of the shenanigans he's pulled in the past and keep in mind, you know, the stuff he did to Jay Lee was absolutely unacceptable. It was full stop unacceptable. It gets a lot, it gets very convoluted because Jay Lee, what did a variant cover years and years ago for the frog comic. And, uh, you know, some people like to drag that into it, but no, not, not professional, not acceptable. And I, you know, he was talked to, but, you know, the fact that he still gets to enjoy his time having pulled that stunt, uh, bragging about getting an editor, uh, taken off the book. I, I, this kind of stuff is bad behavior. Make no mistake. I'm not excusing it. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying that, uh, you know, he gets a pass after a certain amount of time. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely a forgive, don't forget kind of person. I, I, I wish I wasn't sometimes, but I am. So when I look at this, um, Definitely those are problems, but none of what I just said had anything to do with my feelings on the James Gunn announcement in the Supergirl movie. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't, I'm, I wasn't ex- impressed by the news. I kind of, I, t- I took it as more, mm, you know, d- disappointed. I, I explained that in the other video of uh, just, I, I think it's, again, they're, they're chasing what the MCU is doing. A lot of it's going to have this tone, the, the James Dunn gun kind of tone of films that I think is going to age poorly quickly. Uh, much like James Gunn's jokes about underage people. Anyway, um, but I think that, uh, you know, overall, um, whatever shenanigans have happened uh, with Tom King in the past is, has nothing to do with why I'm not excited about the Supergirl movie. I'm just laying it out my reason. But definitely there's some people out there like that. The, the, the part that gets frustrating is as we talk about, are, do you like the movies? Are you excited? What, what, your, what are your feelings on this? It very quickly plays into this, um, you know, are you, you know, everybody merges together. So, you know, for what it's worth, I thought I'd come in here and kind of explain my feelings on it. Look, um, I think doing something different with Supergirl in theory sounds good, except you haven't really gone to the big screen with any version of Supergirl. So it's not that you're doing something different with Supergirl. You haven't done anything with Supergirl in a very, very long time. So the idea of like, hey, we're going to bring audiences something they don't expect, something new. It's like bringing anything would be something new. Yes, you had a Supergirl TV show. That's fine. But you've never really acknowledged those things and you haven't really done much with it. So, um, you know, I, it doesn't, it, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter. It just, it it doesn't it doesn't impact your plan. So you're starting with a blank slate. And when you start with a blank slate, I think saying, you know, we're going to give you something brand new. I, I don't know, not excited. And again, you know, a movie could come out and I could say, wow, this translates way better to the big screen. I love it. I'm glad they did this. I was wrong. There's plenty of times when I'm wrong. But, you know, I to me, I think it, it still feels, from the James Gunn announcement, why I'm overall negative on it, it feels like they're chasing, first of all, it feels like they're chasing Marvel, which I think is just a mistake. And then I, it, it, 
I, you know, there's, there's a cohesion here that I, I'm just not picking up on. And I understand, you know, Gunn said where this is chapter one and chapter two, and it's going to take 10 years, and we're going to tell a big overarching story. It's going to pay off in chapter two. Yeah, much like uh, what Marvel did, you mean, with Thanos and the phase one, two, and three. You're, instead of having three phases, you're going to have two, and you're going to have a story that's going to build and all the I mean, cool, you know, a big threat that's going to come, and the heroes are going to have to band together to fight it. I mean, yeah, that is comics, you know, I, I get it. Uh, but I, I think. Um, the challenge of, with audiences, and for me, is it's, uh, well, you know, how many movies into Marvel am I by now? Like, God, we're over 20, right? Like, there's been a shitload of movies. So I'm I'm 25 plus movies and show. I mean, if you count in the shows and the hours and everything else, we've got, you know, hundreds of hours now into Marvel. And DC's going to come along and say, hey, yeah, we've got our own Marvel. And from the announcements, like, this one's going to feel like uh, True Detective, and this one's going to feel like Game of Thrones, and this one's going to have uh, James Gunn humor, like Guardians of the Galaxy uh, 3, but it's going to be for DC. I, you know, I, I'm looking for, I, I guess I'm looking for something that isn't a clone of the MCU, and maybe this won't be. And I, I hope it won't. And I love DC characters, so, you know, I'm going to be excited to see a lot of them on the big screen, even if it is a clone. But, you know, you can't blame me for hoping for more. So there you go. That's my opinion. That's my take laid out. None of the other drama. It's just, just that it is what it is. So what do you think? Where are you? And thanks for listening.